everyone, I'm Linda Loveland with this week's NC Farm Bureau report. It looks like the battle over redistricting maps is over, at least for this year. The Court of Appeals upheld the North Carolina Senate and House maps passed by the General Assembly last week. However, they overturned the congressional map. Instead, they went with a map drawn by the special masters who were appointed to assist the court. The candidate filing period is now open and the race is officially on. You can find a more in-depth summary on Capitol Roundup, which will be posted here Monday. Farmers will be banned from applying chlorpyrifos to food crops starting Monday, unless farm groups can persuade an appeals court to intervene. Experts say many growers lack reliable alternatives for controlling insect pests. Groups representing multiple commodities are asking the 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to stay the EPA's revocation of food tolerances for the insecticide. Today, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency announced the selection of roundtables to provide input on the waters of the U.S. rule. NC Farm Bureau was selected to represent the southeastern U.S. due to our knowledge of the subject and our ability to work with a wide variety of other organizations. The roundtable meetings are expected over the spring and summer. More than $4.3 million in financial relief is on its way to 265 members of the fishing industries who lost income last year due to COVID. The funds were made available through CARES Act II. The USDA appointed 150 producers countrywide to the 2022 National Pork Producers Delegate Body. Ten were named from North Carolina, including Lorenda Overman, American Farm Bureau Women's Leadership Program Vice Chair, and James Lamb, North Carolina's Farmer of the Year for 2020 and 2021. And the deadline to apply for NC State Fair Junior Livestock Scholarships is Tuesday, March 1st. Up to $25, $2,000 scholarships are available, in addition to one $2,500 farm credit of NC Premier Scholarship. All youth who exhibited a livestock animal at the State Fair are eligible. The scholarship money is raised through the State Fair's annual sale of champions. NC Farm Bureau is a proud contributor to the sale of champions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another NC Farm Bureau report.